Coaching children. Should we coach children weightlifting or should we just avoid it until they're fully developed and mature? That's the topic that I want to discuss. Feel free to share your comments. Um, this is just uh, my opinions. It's not based on any scientific studies that I've read up on. This is purely based on, on experience and the guidance that I would give to anybody that approached me. I get asked fairly frequently uh, by parents uh, to say, is it safe for my child to start weightlifting? Now, my answer is absolutely yes. If we think of children in schools, um, everybody lifts. Everybody has to lift something, whether it's their school bag, whether it's uh, a bench in a PE lesson, uh, whether it's moving a chair, whether it's moving a box. We all have to lift. Now, imagine how different life might be for some of us adults if everybody had been taught how to lift safely from a very young age. Now, when I'm talking about learning how to lift, I'm talking about having that awareness of what a straight or a neutral back is, having the awareness of bending their knees, getting close to an object, keeping their head up. All of the real basic things that we as weightlifters probably take for granted. Educating youngsters on how to lift, I think is fundamental to avoiding back injuries in later life. If every young person had been taught how to lift safely, the chances are when they go through uh, adulthood uh, and into later years, the chances are they're going to continue keeping back injuries at, at bay. Now, when we look at weightlifting as a sport, is it safe for youngsters to train and compete? I think the answer to that is it depends. It depends on how hard a young person is pushed from the early days. It depends on how quickly they were loaded um, and it depends on how good their technique is. Now, the way that I like to coach it is, is all about technique. Get them moving really, really well. And if I'm coaching youngsters, and normally I would start coaching from the age of about 11, 11 up, so secondary school here in the UK, and we put in place a programme back in the early 2000s, uh, which really addressed coaching youngsters. And um, what we did was put in place uh, a competition programme so that under 13s, so school years seven, school years eight, so 11 to 13 year olds and younger were able to compete. But rather than adding best snatch to best clean and jerk to give an overall total, we added all six lifts together. So the emphasis was on consistency rather than how much they could lift. If a lifter, if a youngster missed a lift, it would seriously affect the total that they would then get at the end of it. Not only did we encourage them to lift with uh, consistency, we also really pushed the technique side of things and we awarded points for how they lifted. If they power snatched, for example, they would only get one point. If they lifted with superb technique and there were no errors, then we would give them six points. And this scoring system is still kind of used here in the UK today, but it's not standardised very well. In fact, it's pretty poor to a point where as a coach, I don't really think twice about it. I just look after my youngsters and make sure I'm not pushing them too hard. But if it were a system that was really enforced, I think then we've got the opportunity to develop fantastic technical lifting with very, very young lifters, um, whilst giving them a slightly different focus to what an adult might have. An adult wants to hit big weights on a snatch, big weights on a clean and jerk to give them the very best total. Put yourself now in an under 13s position where they get good points for moving well and they get good points for being consistent and hitting all six lifts the way that those two lifters are going to approach a competition is going to be very different. Now, if we look at the young child who is still developing, obviously the bones, the joints, the ligaments, everything is still growing and, and, and forming. So a young child is going to have a very immature body and is, not li is, is less likely to be able to cope with heavy lifting and the demands that that kind of training puts on the body. So if we're looking at programming for a youngster, and when I say youngster, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say under 18. I know 16 to 18 is a bit of a gray area, but if we're programming for a youngster, then what you need to set in, that, in those sessions is going to be different to that of an adult. 
A youngster is going to probably only need to go up to around the 70% intensity to get really good strength gains, whereas an adult, you're going to be pushing 80% plus intensity. A youngster is probably going to cope far better with a higher volume than an adult. So the way that these two uh, different age groups are going to cope with and, uh, and deal with training is going to be very, very different. My advice when coaching a youngster is spend time on a lightweight. Spend time on a broomstick or a light bar. Uh, I'm not talking a 15 or a 20 kilo bar. I'm talking about a technique bar. A technique bar for some might even be too heavy, which is why a broomstick or a PVC pipe would be absolutely fine. Get them moving really well. Get them consistent. Get them having fun. An adult, I would prescribe maybe 8 to 12 sets per exercise. A child starting out, I would probably only give them five sets. I might give them five sets of five. But what I would be doing is giving them minimal rest between sets. And I would be having a bit of fun with it as well. The way that we would score in competition is similar sometimes to the approach that I take in training. I would start with five or six points and they would always start on maximum points. So they've got a chance of achieving well, but then I'm going to take away a point every time they make a mistake. So, for example, if they come off the floor with a rounded back, they lose a mark. If they have an early arm bend, they'll lose a mark. If they don't quite hit extension, they'll lose a mark. If they're slow getting underneath the bar, they'll lose a mark. So if you share what you're looking for with those young people, they know how to score themselves. And if they're working with somebody, they can pair up and score each other. And it's a great way to get them helping each other to try and push things along from a technical point of view. Why don't adults do this as well? All right, there's absolutely no reason why not. But I would coach youngsters. I'd have them for several months just on a very, very light bar, boring the hell out of them, getting them, uh, repeating the movement time after time after time until it becomes automatic, until they're moving so well that they can have a chat whilst doing the movement and it's, it's effortless. Then we start loading. How far do you load a young person depends very much on their physical maturation. And you know, uh, as well as I do, that you could have two 13-year-olds. One of them is much more physically developed than another one. So you've got to take each individual as they present and, and push in line with their physical maturation. Rather than pushing for a one rep max, I would probably recommend pushing for uh, a weight that they feel like they can do three on. Um, so that way, you know that three reps is probably around the 80% kind of mark, but you're not pushing them and stressing their bodies too much. So there's lots of different ways you can approach coaching young people. But my advice is, first and foremost, make it fun. Secondly, get lots and lots of volume in. Thirdly, give them a huge variety of exercises and make sure they're moving super, super well before you even consider adding any weight. Once you've got that, and if they're still sticking with it and still training, you've now got a young athlete that is well conditioned and ready to continue and progress through the ranks. The only problem with coaching youngsters, if they start at the age of 11 or so, you've got nothing really in terms of uh, being able to push them until they're that little bit older. Just when they turn 13 doesn't mean it's, it's the green light to go ahead and, and really annihilate them. You've still got to be careful. You've still got to be mindful that they're growing and developing. And you need to be mindful of that right through the, the teenage years. Um, in some cases, right through to late teens. Everybody develops slightly differently, but listen to that young person. If they tell you that they're struggling, if they tell you that they are in discomfort, you need to listen. It might be their legs are just sore. So, for example, if, if a young person came up and said, oh, my leg is sore, I'd probably say to them, what's the other one like? And if they say, oh, yeah, that one's sore as well, I'd tell them to crack on. If somebody came up to me and said, my knee is sore, and I'd say, okay, whereabouts? And they'd point specifically to an area. What's the other one like? Oh, that's okay. Then I'd probably think, hang on, this might be more of an injury. Now, with youngsters... Growing pains are normal. I would monitor as well on a monthly basis, standing height and sitting height. And then if a young person does complain of discomfort, maybe in the back or the knees, which are the common areas of discomfort for lifters, then you want to be monitoring those two, sitting height, standing height. Are there any changes? Is their back growing? Are their limbs growing? Right? Your torso and your limbs grow at very different rates. So it's normal for someone to have experienced pains in the knees at the same time as the limbs growing. So that would be a good indicator of what might be causing the discomfort. If that's the case, as a coach, you've just got to back off, give their bodies a chance to settle down before pushing again. 
Look, I hope you found this useful. This is just my opinion, as I said at the start, um, but I'm hoping you found it uh, of some use when coaching young people. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Michaela Breeze. And uh, feel free as well to message me any specific topics that you would like me to cover in these videos.